Today we're gonna try to 3D print an ammunition like it's used in modern tanks for my little air pump gun. If it will actually work, see you in the end. Welcome to our Taj. A few weeks ago I got an, my own 3D printer. And as the first project, I decided to try and build APFSDS. For those of you who don't know what APFSDS is, it means armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot. Basically, it's a little sabot, mostly out of uh, depleted uranium or tungsten in a shell so that it can be launched from typically a 120 millimeter gun the small but very heavy sabot has most of the kinetic energy and through its small frontal area it can travel very fast and pierce immense amounts of armor my idea was to print the outer shell to fit my gun and then use a big nail as the sabot. I loaded up one shape and designed version 1. Version 1 was pretty easy, it was just these two halves, because 2 is easier than 3, like normally, um, with a little gap. And frontally I designed this kind of thing, so that if air comes it gets pu pushed outwards, so it's guarding more and the sabot can fly on its own. Also I designed little fins that can be slapped on the nail for better flight stability. The first variation was sadly too big to fit. The next variation was kind of working, but the problem was that the sl the gap was a weak point and was just breaking at this point. So I designed the third version, which was just the tube with the frontal curved thing, which was very stable, but my printer would always fuck up the most at the part uh, up there because it would knock them over and then print into the air but it still was working let's see a test as you can see all three parts of the ammunition fly towards it but the shell is just bouncing back on them and the saber is piercing deep into the cartonnage. Conclusion It was working, but it still has problems. One problem is that the sabot is just too light compared to the shell. So all three are flying and it doesn't get all the kinetic energy it needs. And it also didn't fly very straight. But still it worked. It pierced with good power I will probably try again on a cannon I'm gonna build with air pressure which is then marrow power and I left the 3d printing files in the descriptions if you want to build one too thanks for watching if you don't want to miss the next videos like and subscribe and see you next time